Greetings, everybody! My name is uh, Crims, Alex, Narakath, whatever you want. And I'm here today with an after convention vlog, so to speak. We're gonna have some Yoshi music in the background. Hope you don't mind. Right now it's uh, 5 p.m. Uh, the 1st of August, and I just uh, got finished with uh, importing all the images and videos from the convention and uh, also sorting them out. So in the beginning there was 3,500 images uh, about me and Luis took a bunch and now there's only 544 left. So you can see there's a lot of images I went through and we're just gonna go through them and talk about the convention. Feelings, thoughts, whatever. Let's go. So here we have Luis and friends, Yippie. Um, those earrings that she's wearing was actually a gift for me and she got them just before the convention started so I'm glad that she wore them or wear, wore, <laughs> however you say it uh, and also we're doing this video in 4k just to utilize the resolution here and it's not it's gonna be unedited so bear with me so this is uh, the day before the convention so um, me and Luis we took the bus the day before it started but they have it open and you can go around and you know settle yourself go to the sleeping halls and you know unpack you know your sleeping mattress you know blow it up <laughs> in with air and uh, yes prepare yourself and the next day everything comes so there wasn't many people this day and uh, this is like the main path of the convention. Uh, you can see the convention has a long hallway. And this is like on the middle of the path. And further down this path we have the Zen Garden right here. Where people meet up and pool party. Like this jumping castle filled with air. Lots of stuff. Raves. You name it. And so on this first um, day. Well the day before the convention started. There was an 18 plus meetup. And we didn't really know what it was about, so we just checked it out. And so we meet up with these, uh, apparently 18 plus people, and we, like, speed meet, hang, hang out, uh, meet new people. And uh, it turned out that we just played lots of games. Um, random games that I don't really know the name of in English. So there's Luis, there's Not Joel, and they're doing some weird ninja fight. <laughs> Thing. There's uh, Martin, there's the Tobbe, and there's a Bullen with a nice Primal Rage shirt and Root right there. And uh, yeah, I just took a bunch of images while they played. I didn't join uh, this one. Lots of fun, maybe. And then I joined the Here's Me with my nice shirt, with The Last of Us, as you can see right there. I got from my brother. And I also have a Final Fantasy X necklace. Yippee. And so we played this uh, game with feet and shit. I'm not, in, <laughs> not even gonna try to explain it in English. So just figure it out yourself. So in this image we had uh, like a pool party over there. And uh, we had like a stage. People can go up and do shit. And then we had uh, the Spider-Man or Spooderman. Jumping castle. And people just meeting up. A nice uh, Master Sword. Right there. And then we have uh, Totoro. A nice statue. Took an image of uh, Luis here. With him. Nice. And then some food that I brought along. Uh, whatever. Uh, Martin talking to shit. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> not gonna talk about every single image. Just to uh, like, show you. So now it's nearing the evening and we're sitting here talking. And here's a little inside joke. So there was uh, like sp a spicy food that I made. That you saw in the other picture. And so you will ate from it and uh, like got it down the wrong throat. And then an inside joke started that the food was so good that he started coughing very much. So this image was to capture that inside joke when it started. So every time someone eats something or drinks something and they cough very much, it means it's really, really good. And now it's an inside joke, whatever, who gives a shit. Here we have some clay figures. Mercy, Roadhog, uh, Trico. Flowey, Sans, and so on. Very nice. How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, Okami. Okami. Chocobo. Good shit. Very cute. Some Harry Potter things. I don't even know. <laughs> Root with the Totoro. Uh, actually cosplaying Totoro. Very nice. I like it. Woo! 
And then we have like the gaming hall. A bunch of arcades and um, many things like that. I don't think I have many images of that place, so I'm just gonna use this one. So this building was uh, very big, or is very big. And there's a lot of rooms like this with uh, video games, everything from like Just Dance to Nintendo gaming to um, local area network gaming, PC, all that shit. So in the through this door over here, and you continue that path, you come to a similar room with Nintendo games and consoles and all that shit. And I brought along a lot of games. I brought my Wii U with many games, my controllers. I got um, I brought um, Guitar Hero with Guitar Hero, guitar controllers and things like that, and they were very thankful, and they awarded me with um, like these food tickets that you can use on the convention for food. Um, so that was really nice. And um, but the thing is, I I kind of made a sacrifice bringing these Guitar Hero controllers and things like that, and this is Sweden's biggest convention. And so a lot of people are going to play on it, and most likely a bunch of people are going to be not very careful with it. Like playing very hard and maybe have greasy fingers, you know, all that shit. So I made a sacrifice just for the convention. You know, take this, have fun, I get some food tickets, whatever. And now I have it back, and so far it seems like everything is working as it should. They, are, they were careful, the people working there, who did what to the things. Yeah, whatever. So that was good. And uh, also there was... Um, I'm using this image a lot, I'm sorry about that. But there was also an Overwatch 3 vs 3 um, tournament. And I was about to join it, but then... I'm not gonna sp explain too much, but I did. in the end I didn't go through with it. But I did find two people uh, to play with, uh, 3 vs 3. And that was really fun. And they were part of this uh, online group called... Um, Shit, I don't... Can I do this without keyboard? Can I... Can I go back? And, and anyway, so they were part of this group on the internet called WolfLan. And they have a Discord group, and so I joined it. I played with them a bunch yesterday, and it was really fun. And so I played with them on this convention. And yeah, basically I made new gaming friends over the internet. Yippee. Let's continue. So here uh, is uh, like a food stand, they have a kebab, pulled pork, langos, ha uh, hamburger in Swedish. Uh, nice. Then we have Rut again as Totoro. And here is my uh, bag, backpack. Water, very important. I got a lot of pins which I just uh, <laughs> like sprayed, just threw everything on in there for nerdy people to recognize. So there's a lot of Undertale, but also Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, Pony, and um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> a lot of Undertale. Also Miku and a cat, and there's P uh, Pinkie Pie right there. Nice. I ha I've had this backpack for a long time, I mean over 10 years. And it's still working out really well, I mean it's, it's really good quality. Case logic, nice shit. And then we have... Um, what is this? Uh, performance or novice? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is uh, the cosplay competition novice. So, like, low tier cosplays going up. And here we have the jury uh, judging everything. And then prizes and all that shit. So, here we have some images of those. Very nice. Look at that. It's even the Maid Dragon anime. And here we have Journey. Really nice. I wasn't actually here uh, for the for the novice competition. I was somewhere else, and these images are taken by Luis. So they go back and forth all the time. Like some images are taken by Luis, and some are taken by me. But these are from Luis, and here we have the pyramid head from Silent Hill 2. Very nice. Cool hair. Very cool, bro. Can speed through these. And you can just pause if you want to see it in greater detail. And then we have a nice reaper. Kawaii reaper. And the, the dude, villain from Final Fantasy XV. Steven Universe, Zapdos, Batman. He actually won the novice competition, so that's great. Because I, I thought he was one of the best, so I'm glad he won. Uh, Fallout, yeah. Very... Okay, so when she tried to put out the gun, uh, it didn't really work. These uh, two stands right here didn't, uh, like, do what they were supposed to, so 
little bit of a whatever English words I can't but it, it went all right in the end a middle act like intermission act quite funny and then so he won there were different prizes like some for performance some for craftsmanship and so on I think he won because of performance very nice John Craft and a good personality for the character and there we go Boltman ba Batman winning the shit and also Reaper won something and also her so there we go, the winners for the novice competition. And then we ate some hamburgers, me, you will, and not... I mean, <laughs> me, not you will, and Louise. Uh, milkshake eyeglasses, which uh, you will wear a lot during the convention. And I, as a joke, called them milk shades. And I thought I was kind of creative there. Very nice. And then we have Louise cosplaying as Kara from Undertale. Which uh, she's going to wear at her performance, which you can see later on, on her channel. Uh, if you want to hear the song, you can go to my SoundCloud, but uh, we will wait with that until we get to those images. We have food stands and people eating. Luis, once again, as Kara. Me playing Pac-Man for the first time, for real. I mean, I played Pac-Man before, but this is the first time I really played it. Uh, on the NES Mini, played it with Luis and... And so th this was very fun for me and her, especially for me, because in this game you get chased by ghosts, right? And so I have a fear of being chased, and so when they're like right behind me, I get panic, because that's just how I am. I get panicked when things are chasing me, and I, I, I put out so much emotion when we played this, and it was really fun. So she took this image to as, you know, memory. And now it's uh, evening, me and Luis eating a waffle on a stick, it was quite tasty, she had a Nutella on hers and I had whipped cream. And now it's uh, kind of late, I'm walking, backwards, uh, ba walking back to the sleeping hall. And the next day I ha she had two toasts for breakfast and they had fr fries and I had a pizza. <laughs> Wow, how interesting is this? Okay, so here we have the other gaming hall. I did have an image for it. So I brought along my two Guitar Hero controllers. And um, I played Guitar Hero for a bunch of people. I During the convention, I was on the lookout for people that are better than me. And I'm not trying to be like bragging here, because I hate people to do that. But uh, I was on the lookout for people who are better than me. And I never found it. But the reason why is because I want to find people to play with in co-op to get new records for example play Dragon Force co-op and both I mean me and this other person would be very good but I never found anyone who was really really good just like one maybe and so I played a bunch of Guitar Hero from time to time it was really fun but every time I was around on the convention away from this hall I was so afraid of these I was like a like a parent and these were my children I like I hope people are not uh, mistreating them I hope they're okay and so this is like the first real day of the convention. As you can see here, it looks okay. But now, this is like washed out. This is just like pure white. So you can see a lot of people played on it at all hours because some people stay up during the night. So these guitars got played on for like the entire convention from Wednesday, I mean, maybe Thursday to Sunday. So a lot of people played on it and uh, I haven't really tried them so much after the convention now, but I hope they still work, and so I kind of made a sacrifice. But it was fun, it was really fun playing in front of people, and playing with people, and against people, and all that. And now we have the cosplay performance? No? Like, okay, this is just cosplay sketch, just low tier for fun. It was, uh, it was quite fun. And now we're gonna head into the Overwatch uh, meet, meetup. And so, these images are taken uh, by me. So we have Anna, Bastion, all the divas. I think we can go through them quite quickly. You can just pause if you want to see. I like that uh, the d diva inside here is a dude. <laughs> He's very secret about it. I mean, smug, I don't know. I just find it funny. Bunch of divas. I... Uh, I've trained a lot during this convention with my camera, I mean, photo taking skills. And I've been uh, trying a lot more of this technique of, you know, zooming, zooming in close and get a blurry background. 
And I think some of these images really worked out fine. I mean, this one, very blurry background, sharp on the character, and I just, I'm happy with it. I think I'm getting better at taking images. Now we have Genjis <laughs> of all types of Genjis, it was really fun. Like uh, Jung Genji Sparrow, I think this skin is called. Tuxedo Genji, <laughs> Schoolgirl Genji, and Black Watch, just a bunch of different Genjis. And then we had a Mercy sitting in the middle and they were just running around her screaming, I need healing, I need healing, all the time, it was really really fun. I think we filmed it, but uh, these are the images from it. And then she's going away and they're like, No! We need the healing! Oh, fuck! Kind of like that. And then we have Hanzo, Junkrat. I really like this one. This is my favorite. Wow, he has the face. He has uh, the eyes. The eyebrows are made very well. I just like the arm. Everything. This is my favorite Junkrat cosplay of the convention. So good. I mean, just look at those eyes. He really captures... The Junkrat character. And then we have Lucio with Lucio's. <laughs> I think this was the only Lucio cosplay. But uh, a nice one at that. Then we have uh, McCree. Jesse McCree. Bunch of Mace. Well done. And then we have Mercy. And this is Louise right here with her swimsuit uh, Mercy. And then the Bastion. Everyone got wild and crazy when uh, he joined. It's really well done. Because first we only had this Bastion. And then this one came and everybody was like, holy shit. And it's also the RIP uh, Halloween skin. So that's cool. And then a bunch of Reapers. I like that this one cosplayed uh, the Origins skin. Really nice. And <laughs> I was quite surprised to see so many... Uh, Kawaii Reapers or Lolita Reapers. It's like, why do people do this? Okay. And and of course, Maid Reaper as well. I don't know if it's a thing, but it sure is fun. And then we have this Reinhardt. Really nice. And um, a bunch of people once again screamed out loud when he joined. Good shit. Then we have Roadhog. I like how creative this uh, guy went with the Hawaii shirt. And I don't think this is a skin in the game. So he just did something different and it looks good. Then we have Soldier. Really nice. They did the push-up emote. And they actually used uh, this water bottle here as the bionic field. Like, get over here and heal up with um, the water bottle. And uh, yeah, this one was my favorite. Really nice work with the gun and, this, and the makeup and the commando skin. And then we have a tracer or a scout disguised as a tracer. Quite fun. Punk. Cyberpunk, I think it's called, that skin. Tracer, then we have uh, Senyata. I like this image right here. I like the blurry background and just overall good picture. And then we have Junkrat and uh, Roadhog at the same time. And then we have Hanzo and McCree because people like shipping for some reason. <laughs> and then we have Diva and Lucio speaking about shipping. Lucio gets every single one. And then we have Mercy and Genji because of the healing gag. Bunch of uh, healing jokes. And then we have every single one of them. I also filmed here, but the, uh, this is the image. I guess we can like zoom in like this and just do a panorama. It was really fun. This is my first Overwatch meet ever. And so it's really great meeting so many people who uh, who love this game. Bunch of images. Wonderful people. And then uh, they finished off with um, a parade. Like an Overwatch parade. So we went through the entire convention main road and we ended up here at the end. And we also had a flag, I think. There we go, the little junk rat took the flag and ran off with it. And they started chasing him. And that's it for the Overwatch meet. Now we have Louise with a big Onyx statue that was on the convention, really cool. And she's cosplaying as a Team Skull leader or character, I don't know, I haven't really played. And then, of course, we have the Guest of Honors. Uh, or Guest of Honor, yeah. Um, we have uh, Ellen McLean. 
and uh, John Patrick Lowry. Lowry. I don't know, really know his name, but uh, he is the voice actor for Sniper in Team Fortress 2, and she is GLaDOS in Portal, and also the um, announcer in Team Fortress 2. So I met them, there should be an image of, uh, here's Ewell with them. And then there should be an image of me, and here we go. Here's me with these two wonderful people, and they signed my o orange box. Right there, John Patrick, Ellen McLean. Really happy, you can even see it in my face. I'm like, oh, I'm so... <laughs> I was very nervous talking to them. But they were wonderful people, and here is one image of Louise with them. And John Patrick actually, there's his name, Lowry. Yeah, he wrote the book and he signed it and you can buy it and Ewell did that, he bought one of the books. And then we're gonna head into Intermediate Cosplay, I think this is. I don't know how many images we have left because I kind of need a break, <laughs> like drinking, so we're just gonna go through this while I drink my water. Alright. So you can see they have this is a different tier of cosplays. A bit better, overall better quality and uh, everything. Good work. I like this um, Link cosplay from Breath of the Wild when you need to sneak into Gerudo Village. And this was one of my favorites. And once again, I did not take this, these images. This uh, is Luis because I was somewhere else. And this is uh, one of the. I forgot the name now, but they are in the Morrowind expansion, Tribunal expansion, a Vindicator or something. It's freaking amazing, I love it. Kudos, lots of kudos. And then we have a Swedish character. Lots of characters I don't know about. Maybe Junkrat, who knows. <laughs> kind of fitted with this image. Uh, Witcher. The Reinhardt we saw before. Cinderella. Genji. Bunch of cool characters and nice cosplays. Man, these people are crazy. And then here we have the maid dragon, uh, Toru, uh, trying to serve her tail. If you haven't seen the, the anime, then that's okay, but I'll, I really like this. And this is a Zelda cosplay, of course, and I, I think she won. The whole thing? I guess we shall see soon. <laughs> Here we have another joke with uh, you will uh, holding Pikachu as a phone. So freaking weird. And here's me as a frisk. My bag is not holding up very well. <laughs> Never mind what I said before. But uh, yeah, I have uh, my soul around my... as a necklace. The frisk shirt made by Louise. And a bandage right here. Because that's an equipment in the game, bandage. And we as a team skull. And then we have some um, performance. Uh, this is master, I think. Yeah, I think this is uh, the master. So uh, here they had, they judged everything 50% on performance and 50% on craftsmanship. So you can't just make a good cosplay and just stand there. You the the performance is just as important as the craftsmanship. And we had lots of great ones here. Really nice. And I love that they had like a big sketch for every single one. Truly made them special. We have Juna from uh, Final Fantasy X. And here we go. The Lego dude won the whole thing. What a man. I love that Lego part. So this is uh, the entrance to the sleeping halls. Bunch of shoes because you're not allowed to have them inside the halls. So just... A reminder of how many people went in and out all the time. But what's so ironic is that this image tells you that there's a lot of people here. But you don't see a single human in the image. So I thought that was kind of a nifty image. Like, an ironic image. And there's something about shoes that, that speaks to me. And just overall, this image, it's, it's really cool for me. And here we have uh, Ewell dancing with uh, one of the cash cashiers. For some reason, he's crazy now. And now we have the Undertale meet. And these images are taken by me, because Luis was busy somewhere else. 
and a bunch of cool Undertale people. Now I did not take this photo because there I am, and so someone else took it. So we have a bunch of Frisks, Corrupted Frisk, everything. I mean, all these cosplays weren't just from the game, they were also from alternative universe and things like that. So here we have all the Frisks and all the Karas, a Flowey, only one cosplayer as Flowey. And then we have, I think this one is um, Gender Swap or something. Like this is a Toriel, but, um, or was it Under Swap? Something like that. So this is Toriel, but she's now the commander or something like that. I haven't looked into the fandom at all, so I don't know too much about this. I mean, look at this uh, painter sans. Really cool, but I have no idea what it's from or what it stands for. And then we have the evil. I know, like, the basics, like, there's an Undertale universe where everyone is really evil and Papyrus is really, really evil. Like, yeah, that that's all I know. So here we have all the suns. Cool shit. And they're dabbing, of course, because that's a thing. And then we have Papyrus, really nice. Elvis, Undyne, Metaton, um, Napstabluk. I really like this one. It's uh, cute, innocent. I love the sign. Just overall, really nice. And then we have Temi and the Tem Shop right there. I think, yeah, there's an image. I think I can take this one away. There we go. Tem Shop. Temi. Ascor. Toriel. And then we have um, Asriel. And here we have. Um, yeah, you can see for yourself, I don't need to explain every single thing, do I? I mean, if you've made this far into the video, I need to thank you so much. If you find it so interesting, this convention that I have been on. So here we have all the Karas and all the Frisks. Of course, I did not take this image. And then we have Kara and uh, Asriel, like the family, the Dreamer family. And now we have like a, comp like a battle. All the Karas against all the Sands. Have a bunch of images of that. And then we have the shipping part because wow, convention people are crazy. So we have Alphys and Undyne, of course. And then we have uh, Papyrus and Undyne dabbing, Flowey and um, and uh, Alphys. Yippee, Metaton and Napsabluk. And then we have every single cosplayer, even me. This image was very well taken. The person I asked was uh, very nice and did take good pictures. And now everybody's dabbing, so a normal one and a dab. Shipping, shipping, whatever, man. And uh, <laughs> I like this one. It's an absolute and frisk laying down. A reference to the game, of course. Uh, Burger Pants came in later on, so there is she, he is, Gaster. Was very popular, as you can see. <laughs> and now we're going into the... Um, what is it? Uh, cosplay performance! So now we're very soon gonna enter... You know what... Um, Luis, me and you will... Like, enter the competition. So we have an Overwatch uh, sketch. And some cosplay. Cosplays, One Piece. Cosplay performance. Uh, don't know what, where this is from. And then we have Stormwind guards and like the king. And shit, sketch, very funny. Another one, Anastasia, uh, singing uh, Once Upon a December. And then, don't know what this is from. And then we have an intermission act. Like going on a road trip or something, musical number. Good shit. And uh, also me and uh, Luis, I mean, yeah, Luis and Ewell were one of the ones here. But I didn't take photos, I filmed it and you will see it. Uh, you can see it on Luis's channel. I will link her in the description, and you can listen to the song, because uh, on um, on Luis's channel we're gonna have um, like the camera audio, just the recording of the camera, and hearing the reactions of the, um, the audience and all that. And on SoundCloud you can listen to the music, like only the music. And then um, I'm also gonna put up a music video that we had in the background for my channel, so. Check them both out if you want to. And now me and Luis entered a ballroom. We danced a bit. I have a video of that. And now we're going into the NCC, which is the Nordic cosplay competition 
something championship. Like the best cosplays of the whole Nordic. Which includes like Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, I Iceland, and so on. I mean, look at this. It's crazy how well these cosplays are made. And so these images are taken by Louise. We have uh, the Dark Cloud from uh, Kingdom Hearts fighting Sora. Hook. Alice uh, Madness Returns. I got a really nice image somewhere around here. There we go. The Madness part. Asylum. I've never played Alice Madness Returns and I was really intrigued by this performance and now I want to play it because I like Alice in Wonderland and I also like dark tones and dark um, takes on things. But you can't buy it on Steam so I had to get it somewhere else. But I haven't played it yet and I will. It looks really cool and she did a fantastic job. Or he. I think this is a male. But never mind. Here's another one. And then we have uh, the Sombra introduction or short animation. Like that whole... Um, if you haven't seen it, just go and check it out. It's, it's awesome. The Sombra animated short. So it's basically that whole thing. Or half of it. And just overall an amazing performance. And of course the boop at the end. And then we have a Toho, uh, what is it, performance, cosplay. And then we have this dude from Harry Potter, like this very char charismatic, char char charisma dude. <laughs> it was good. And then from Wreck-It Ralph, the soldier, leader, commander. Really cool. I mean, just look at that expression and the lights and all that shit. So good. And then we have the Angel of Death from um, Hellboy 2 or something. I don't know. I haven't played it or seen it. I think it's a movie. But the Angel of Death, one of my favorites because these wings moved. It was so fantastic. I mean, look at it. So good. This is master, super master of uh, cosplay. And then we have uh, Mad Max. Mm, don't know which one this is. And then another one don't know about, but it's really well done. It's insanely good. And then an intermission act, and then uh, we have uh, the rewards. So this person won second prize. And then we have um, Alice from Madness Returns um, won the grand prize. And then we have an image of uh, our sleeping hall. So me and Luis are laying just below the camera. So it's like a big, um, big hall. Divided in with these big um, soft walls. I mean, I can't really find the English words, so I'm sorry But uh, yeah, this is where we slept and this is the final um, Like uh, what is it ending ceremony? There we go. That's the thing and so they said thank you to everybody and uh, We ended off with Ellen and John playing still alive from portal and we have a video of that We're gonna check it out after we're done with the images and here's the dude who, like, he is uh, Narcon. He created it. Created it. And they have a horse, whatever. He has a cutie mark. <laughs> I don't even know. And everybody's like, no, the convention's over. Fuck. So this is the ending ceremony. Very beautiful weather. Nice shit. And this is, like, the last images. Last image of my friends before we head home. And you will have lots of fun pretending to be Onyx's tongue. One of fucking crazy man so those were the images 545 images i hope it wasn't too annoying to go through and now we're gonna have some videos so first let's uh, take away the music i hope the music wasn't too loud i really hope so so now we have uh, the mercies at the overwatch meet doing the hustle with luis in the middle so good fantastic Next clip is, uh, yeah, everybody who cosplayed at the Overwatch meet. Or mostly everybody. It feels really weird looking at so many images and now we're looking at videos instead. It's like, whoo, wow, moving images. Really nice. Best diva cosplay ever. And then we have the, the parade, walking with the flag. Bunch of people, there's Louise aiming the healing. So she had this... Uh, Pool, noodle, <laughs> whatever you call it, as a healing stream. <laughs> kind of, um, what is it? 
I forgot the word. But creative, there we go. Kind of creative. Do we have audio? Yeah, we do. Okay, and then we have uh, the end of the Overwatch uh, parade. Right here, it ended. Everybody's happy, like, yeah, boy. Woo! As I said, I had a wonderful time with these people. I mean, Overwatch fans are great. Oh baby, here we go. So I'm not gonna show too much of this because you can see this exact video on uh, Sweetie Candy's or Louise's channel. So go check it out, it's uh, in the description. But this is the performance that we worked on. So um, Louise and uh, you will had this musical number under the, the sea parody, but under the ground instead. Yeah, really nice, fantastic, so check it out on Luisa's channel, and I'm gonna put up a separate video on my channel with just the music, nothing else, uh, of, and of course the background video. So check it out, we we're very happy, and they won, uh, you, as you can see it right here. So here's the prize ceremony, the first prize went to Anastasia. Because she sang live as well, really good. And then I guess I can show this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out, man! There we go. So they won second prize, but I was the one who filmed it, so I wasn't up there with them. <laughs> kind of a bummer because people afterwards came up to them and I was walking with them like you two were great and like yeah they were I mean props I mean you were was the one up there dressed up and um, you know singing and miming the song he did a very nice job and of course Luis is like the mastermind of the whole project but uh, I was also like an equal part of the project because I, I produced it I sang I mixed it I I was there when we made the lyrics I mean yeah some of it and uh but I couldn't be up there because I wanted to film it and I, I didn't really trust anyone else because if, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. So I like sacrificed or whatever so I could film it very well instead. So they took all the honor and didn't get shit. I'm pissed and salty about that and this dude won. Woo! Well, I'm not really too salty because, I mean, whatever, man. And then we have the Lego dude who won. Look at that. It's too freaking cute, I can't take it! And here we have just a video that Louise is probably going to use in her Undertale video. Here's the three of us. As Frisk, Kara and Asriel. Ain't that lovely. Hi. Nerds. Nerds. We're gonna change. Fight me, Frisk! <laughs> a thing on the side. Because I'm too lazy to bring the price up. So dear, so. <laughs> oh, derpy. What the hell? And there she goes. Here's the ballroom. And we danced and shit. I actually just filmed this part. Good stuff. <laughs> Here's <laughs> the funny vlog that she did with uh, the two of us. And here's the last one. Wonderful, and that's all of it good folks. We went through every single video and image of the convention. Hope you enjoyed it I had lots of fun. I mean really and I hope this video wasn't too long or too dragged out and unedited and all that shit But I do thank you 
so very much for sticking with me, for checking it out. If you have any thoughts, anything, just just throw them in the comments. Write whatever you want and I will read it. So happy about that. This video is about 40 minutes long, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. But it's good to get this out of my system. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to more of them. And as I've said in my previous videos, this, I mean tomorrow, <laughs> on Wednesday, I'm going to be gone until Sunday. I'm going to go down to South Sweden with an, uh, to an event with Luis. And we're just going to have a grand old good time. And so I'm going to be away again. So this video is going to like fill the gaps, maybe. We shall see. Um, and then on the 7th, Monday, I'm going to start uh, working full-time internship. Going to see how that works out. So thank you all very much for your support, for sticking with me. Uh, check out my links in the description, links to Luis and links to my social media. And, and if you want to support me, you have links to that as well. Thank you all once again. You're great. I love you. And I will see you in future videos. Good day.